Hi, this is Max from DataRams, and in this video I'm going to give you an explanation of the editor so you have a general overview and know where to get started. Um, so you want to press the F2 button to open the editor, and you always see these buttons you can press right now in the top left. And um, let's start by explaining the things you, you see right away when you open the editor. So um, first of all you have this bar in the bottom, and there you have um, some options. Um, you can you can play the animation and pause it. You can reset the animation, which you usually do with F9, I guess. Uh, and you can open the debug mode. And then you have uh, different um, edit modes, um, and you can also change them here uh, just by clicking them. Um, and I'm what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna go over each of them. Um, and the the other thing you have is windows. So. Um, for example, if I press the Blueprint Library button, um, I open this window which shows all the blueprints I have in the game, and I can drag any of them in to play with them or whatever. Um, and then finally you have the view options which you sometimes need, for example, to show this radial map or this grid or whatever. Um, so let's get started with the first mode, um, that's the Scene Edit mode. Um, in the scene edit mode, you um, you edit the whole level itself. So the first thing you want to do is you want to press L and K, or press these two buttons down here, to turn off the lighting and the discovery map. And um, you'll see the discovery map is this uh, black um, thing which kind of hides the the inside of the planet, and the lighting is obviously the lighting. Um, so you want to turn it off so you can see better what you're doing. Um, okay, and um, the first thing you're going to see is you can select object, uh, objects here, um, terrain objects. Um, you just select them by clicking them or by dragging and um, selecting multiple. And what you can do next is you can drag them around. Uh, you can hold A or press this button to rotate them. And you can uh, hold S or press this button to rescale them. Um, so that's the most basic thing. And the other thing you can do is you can uh, select any of them or multiple as well and then press E or this button to deform them. And that's basically what allows you to make the most uh, the most interesting complex terrain because that way you really create these uh, kind of hills and stuff. Um, and you can uh, also add new objects just by dragging them in from the internet or by pressing F3 to open the texture library and um, that gives you this whole selection of textures um, which are all the textures in the game used for everything and you can use any of them, uh, you j just drag them in and that way you create a terrain object which you can use um, in your scene and um, the, the other thing you can do is you can press C to copy them so you have multiple so yeah that's how you edit scenes um, if you press F2 and go back in the game you have them right in your scene uh, again and um, if you press F1, you, you get this, uh, this guides page, which gives you more info about all the modes I'm talking about. So if you want to know more about editing scenes, I recommend you to check out this guide, which gives you some more information about uh, making your own uh, scenes. And um, yeah. Um, the next mode is the activity edit mode. Um, so if you press edit activity here, you open this uh, mode and um, in there you see uh, two important things. The first one is the list of blueprints, which is this one, and the other is the script. And what the activity basically does, it controls what, what's happening in the scene, what's going on. So um, first of all I have these blueprints and um, these are all the blueprints which spawn when you start the scene. So if I want to like change where my player starts, for example, I would just drag him wherever I want to have him. So let's say I want to make him start on top of here. And then if I want to add something, I press F6 to open this library. And let's say I want to give him this gun. So I just drag in this gun, and in this case I just drag it on the Pioneer. And um, that way, if I now press F2 and go in the game, he starts with this gun, which falls down. <laughs> um, and the other thing you saw is the script, which controls the the goal or whatever is going on in the scene. So for example, if this was a racing scene, then the script would make um, the race happen. But I'm not going to go into much more detail about that. Um, you can, if you want to uh, just use another um, uh, 
activity than just load the scene and copy it into your script to get started. All right, um, let's go to the movable objects edit mode next. So uh, movable objects are each of these objects. So not the whole thing, but just one object. For example, the leg of the pioneers, one movable object. And in this mode, I can select any of them and I can drag them around. If I press shift, I have some more power. And you always see these buttons here, as I told you. And um, you can also mess with them. So let's say I want to make this a bit heavier. I can just uh, drag around these sliders and now his leg should be very heavy. And if I walk, I, you can see how my leg is kind of dragging, getting dragged down because it's so heavy. Um, I can do all kinds of things here. Um, but this is just for messing with the, with the object in the game. If I restart, all this is gone. And I'm going to show you later how I'm going to actually change this uh, thing permanently. Alright, the next one is the joint edit mode. So um, joints are these uh, connectors basically which hold together objects, movable objects. And I can change the numbers here, um, for example the acceleration and the friction to make this joint hang down like a wheel. Um, so yeah, that's the, the joint edit mode. There's, there's obviously always a lot more to it, but I'm not going to go into much detail here. Um, okay, the next one is the particle edit mode. So um, particle systems are um, what are the things that are controlling the effects in the game. So, for example, your jetpack is a particle, shots are particles, explosion are particles. And um, the most basic thing I can do is I can just um, select any of the particles which are in the game already, for example, the jetpack of the player, and I can just boom it, for example, to make it um, shoot a short burst. And I can turn on emitting to uh, give it a full. Um, to like start the actual particle system. Um, I can also, if I have any selected, I can just press insert to spawn it and I can drag it around and uh, yeah, mess with that one too. And uh, you can also add new particle systems if you open the particle system library with F7 and drag in any of those. So for example, I have these fireflies and you can spawn some of them here. And I recommend you to just uh, either read the um, guide about that or just mess with the with the things here and see what happens and you can always hold your mouse onto any of them and see a little tooltip which gives you some information about the setting you're changing um, so yeah um, the next mode is the lights mode um, and there's not too much to that that's just basically just lights so if I turn on lights again here um, you see that the pioneer has light for example um, which kind of gives them this like spotlight, so you, so you see where you are right away. And um, you can also press this button to add a new light here. Uh, you can drag them around, you can um, resize them as well. And you can make them glow and also give them a different color. Um, and there's there's more stuff here, but yeah, that's, that's lights. Mm, the next one is um, the assembly. So um, this is an assembly, um, the Pioneer. An assembly is basically a connection of lots of things. So your assembly has movable objects, has joints, particles and lights. And um, all this gets, uh, gets kind of connected in this um, assembly. So um, if I go into the, this mode, the blueprint edit mode, I see the, um, the blueprint. So if I press F6 and load the Pioneer here, um, there he is. Um, you have all these things which, which are part of this assembly and uh, defined in the blueprint. So if I now press insert, I spawn an assembly, which is basically a copy of the blueprint and that has all the things uh, which I defined in the blueprint. And um, I already explained you uh, what all the parts are, the movable objects, the particles, the joints and the, um, the lights. And there's also poses to it in the script. Um, but I'm going to go into that in a second. Um, so you have um, a little editor here for messing with all of these. So um, you can change between modes here. So the first one is the um, objects mode. You can add new objects just by dragging them in from the texture library. Um, so if I take any of these objects again, I can just drag them in and now they're part of the pioneer. And um, I have to give that a name. Now I can like edit as a head, for example. And there's this joint mode where I can add joints and move around joints so I can join this uh, to him. 
And there's also, um, I can also mess with these joints. So if I just double click that, I go into the joint edit mode again. And this time I'm actually editing the joint on the um, blueprint itself. So that's permanent. That's not the the thing which, which is gone after I restart. That's the actual blueprint. So if I, if I change the joint acceleration here and the friction, for example, of this joint, and then go back into the blueprint mode and uh, save that, then this chain, this is uh, what I did to my Pioneer, now this is permanent. And usually you want to rename your Pioneer, of course, so you don't mess with the original. Um, right, the next mode is the particle mode, which is for um, things like the jetpack in this case. Then there's the light, um, which, which gives him the spotlight, and poses, so he has some animations, uh, like his running, climbing, crawling animations, and you can mess with any of those. Um, just by dragging them around like this. Um, and um, finally you have the script which uh, you can open by just pressing this button. Um, but I'm not going to go into detail now about that. Um, there's a separate uh, guide about that as well. And the script basically controls all the behavior of this uh, pioneer so it makes him register your inputs and then move based on the animations and so on. And um, because I saved this guy um, if I now restart, he should have this rock on his head, because that's what I just added. Um, Alright, um, and then finally we have the materials. So um, each thing has a material, for example this is plastic, this is armored flesh. And um, these materials, how they behave, this is defined here. So I can, for example, lo look at the plastic and um, check out how it's defined here. So we have... Um, uh, the sounds it makes when something hits it. Uh, we have um, the uh, decals, um, the, the particles, the, the br breaking behavior and all, all of these things. But um, you are basically almost never gonna edit um, materials. Um, so this is a very um, thing you're not gonna do probably. So yeah, I'm not gonna go into more detail about that. And then finally you have some settings here, but that's that's it. So yeah, hopefully you have a good overview of um, what you can do in this editor and you kind of know where you get started now. And I recommend you to um, check out these guides to see uh, more info about um, the specific mode you wanna, um, you wanna mess with. And uh, yeah, hopefully you, you kind of know where to get started now.